Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we talked about heat map applications, which are affordable and easy ways to analyze video data and improve your business. Now in this video, we would like to teach you how to set it up in mouse-side cameras and NVRs. To have an optimal setup, we recommend using mouse-side 360-degree panoramic fisheye camera with 12 megapixel resolution and mouse-side pro NVRs. First, you need to enable the heat map function. Go to Mouse Site Setup menu, select the Advanced Settings menu on the left. Then, go to the Heat Map submenu and check the Enable option. After activating, the first setup is the Sensitivity option, which is set to level 5 by default. Using this option, we can increase or decrease the sensitivity of motion between 0 to 10 within the range. The second option is minimize object size, which indicates the minimum size of the moving object. You may probably don't want the past movement to be recorded, because in some cases, only human movement is important. So you can slide the button to change the desired size between 0 to 100. Minimum dwell time is the third option that indicates the minimum time that the moving object spent in the detective area. Sometimes the moving object will not appeal to us when it stays longer than the specified time. For example, if the object doesn't move for more than 30 seconds at a point, it can be disregarded in terms of the minimum dwell time. Next is Scene Change Adaptability. This option is also set to level 5 by default. And it varies between 1 to 10. This feature is mostly related to the camera's hardware capabilities, which shows how quickly the camera can adapt to the new scene when the angle of view is changed. So if the camera has the best performance, it can be down in the shortest possible time. In the next section, you can set the area range for the heat map. By enabling the Select All option, the entire area covered by the camera will be selected. But if we enable the Clear All option, no area will be monitored. Also, you can specify this range manually. The third part is about recording settings. In this section, by clicking the Edit button, you can easily set your design schedule for recording on weekdays and specific hours. Because usually it's not so important to record it on weekends or during non-office hours. So this schedule can be allocated for specific days and up to a maximum of 3 time periods per day. Now, to report the results, you have to select the report option from the top menu. In the main type drop down menu, you will see space heat map and time heat map. Set the report type and start time as your wish. Click the search button. Then, the desired results will be shown. Space heat map will give us a color based image and specify the desired area with a set of colors between red and blue. The red, yellow, and orange areas are described as popular or busy areas, while the blue and green colors indicate low traffic areas. Time heat map, as its name suggests, provides us with a statistical chart based on time. In this way, it is possible to understand how long the movement has been going on within the area. At least you can also export the report by clicking the export button. And the output of the space heat map will be in the form of a photo in PNG format and the output of the time heat map will be in the form of CSV format. Okay. That's all about the configuration of Myosite Advanced Heat Map function. For more information, www.myosite.com.